Hey YouTube, this is MindTech. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this $40 self-heating mug called the Ion Mug that I purchased from Walmart a few days ago and I have been really happy with. I primarily purchased this because my coffee gets cold really quickly. I'm a slow drinker. After about an hour or so, it is almost completely undrinkable if you keep it in a regular ceramic mug. So this aims to solve that, whether it is sitting on the coaster or whether you have the mug independently elsewhere from your desk. And in my experience, it has worked quite well so far at keeping my drinks nice and warm, but there are some issues that I would like to talk about that I think you should consider before going out and purchasing this. <music> Now the first thing I would like to talk about is the design. It is only 12 ounces, which might be a bit too small for your needs, but I've found that it is about as much coffee as I like to drink every single morning. It does also have a very sleek design, in my opinion, in the black color, and it does have a handle built in if you would like to hold it by the handle like you would with a traditional ceramic mug, but I found that it is insulated well enough so that you can easily hold it by the sides of the mug without burning your hands. It is made of plastic on the outside, and although it is matte plastic, I have found that it can collect some fingerprints. And overall, it is not the most premium material in the world, but I think for the $40 price point, that is a good compromise. It is very sturdy though. It does feel like it is well made overall. The inside of the mug, however, is metal, and this helps to bring the heat, which is produced at the bottom of the mug up to the rest of your beverage. And I found in my experience, that it does do a good job of keeping the drinks uniformly heated. I went and used a thermometer to look at the temperature of my coffee one morning and I found that if I set it to 145, the temperature ranged from about 130 degrees on the edges of the mug to even a little above 145 in like the center of the mug. If you do pour in like a really hot beverage, you might accidentally burn your lips on this metal ring, not really knowing that the beverage inside is as hot as it really is. I also like that it has has a rubber foot built into the bottom of the mug. This helps it to not really skid or move across your table. And I found that the weight is distributed well enough so that you can push the mug and try to tip it over and it doesn't tip over. It does feel nice and sturdy on your desk while both empty and also filled with beverages. And speaking of the weight, there is a battery and a heater built in, so it is definitely a lot heavier than you'd expect when you first pick it up. I've gone and measured it at about 330 grams, and I do have to say the weight is well distributed and it does feel nice and light when it is filled with a beverage, so that hasn't been too big of an issue for me. Now if we go and look at the bottom of the mug, it does have one button for control, which is very simple. I like that you do not have to pair this with a smartphone app. You know, it's just a simple appliance. Why do you need to connect it to a phone? If you go and long press on this, it does turn on the mug and there is a simple LED display on the right-hand side of the mug, which means that if you are a left-handed drinker, you're going to have to go and move the mug around to actually see the temperature that it's set to, which is somewhat inconvenient, but I do understand why they didn't include two displays on the mug. Now, if you see the four blinking dots, that means the mug is currently in standby mode, and if you go and press this bottom button once, that will switch between the four different modes. So the first temperature mode is 135 degrees Fahrenheit, the second one is 140, and the third and highest setting is 145 degrees. If I go and press it once more, that will switch back to the standby mode, which turns off the heater. Now I have found these controls to work well, but one nitpick that I do have is that it is built into the bottom of the mug, meaning that if this is filled with a beverage and I want to go and quickly adjust the temperature, the button itself is somewhat difficult to press. I kind of am worried about possibly spilling it, especially if the mug is overfilled. I found that the heater does heat up incredibly quickly quickly. Already, if I go and try to press the bottom of this mug, it's already almost too hot to the touch. If I go and look at the temperature of that, it's already 190 degrees. And I'm going to go and turn it on to, I would say, 140 degrees. And you can see right now the display is blinking, and that means that the liquid inside the mug is currently not at the target temperature. It might be above the temperature or below the temperature. As for the battery life, the manufacturer advertises three hours of battery life, but that is only on the 135 degree temperature mode. I found this morning that when I set the mug to 145 degrees, it only lasted about an hour and 20 
20 minutes or so. If you do go and place the mug on the coaster while you have the temperature set, it will stay in that self-heating mode, but not deplete the battery at all. And that allows you to essentially indefinitely keep your mug warm as long as you're sitting at your desk. And then when you go and take this off, you're still going to have a good amount of charge left to go and access that wherever you are. However, I have been able to approach that three hour mark when I do have the mug set on the 135 degree mode, which means that the battery life is close to what is advertised. All right, so it's still blinking. It's been about two or so minutes. It is 83 degrees so far, so it is beginning to get warm, but it's still at about room temperature. I would like to go and talk about this coaster. I found that it is fairly flimsy as you can hear. It's still made out of plastic. It does have a rubber ring on the bottom just like the mug does however and that prevents it from sliding around the desk. I've also found that it is very easy to go and slot the mug into the coaster. It really just kind of goes and falls right in. And you can always see if it is charging if there is a red LED next to the temperature displayed or if there is a green LED which means that it is done charging. There are also metal tracks along the entire circumference of the mug which means that you don't have to fit it into a specific position in order for it to charge. I would have preferred though for them to embed something like possibly a Qi wireless charging standard instead of you having to only use this coaster. If this coaster gets lost or damaged, the entire mug is useless. You know, you have to replace this coaster in order for it to work. It also doesn't have a standard plug. As you can see, it's just a barrel plug there. I would have definitely preferred if they would have used a standard like USB type C so that you wouldn't have to only use the specific included power adapter. I also saw some reviewers saying that this is not durable. I'll have to go and update you in the comment section below if that does happen to me. I would recommend though that you make sure that the bottom of this mug is completely dry before putting it on the charger because that could easily go and short out something like these little metal prongs inside. The mug is IP67 water resistant which means that you definitely do not want to submerge this in water. It is definitely not dishwasher safe. I recommend only getting the inside of the mug really wet and trying to go and rinse using your fingers to make sure that you're not getting a bunch of water dripping down in the bottom of the unit where you do have the charging and the battery technology. And one last thing that I found is that sometimes when I go and place the mug on the charging coaster, it messes with other electronics that are on my desk. Like my keyboard has turned off and on whenever I place it on the coaster and some Sometimes my monitor begins to flicker. I'm not completely sure if that's just a coincidence and there's some other issue that I'm not aware of or if this coaster and mug are not properly shielded. But with that said, this water is definitely getting warm after about 15 or so minutes of heating up. It's reached about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is impressive considering that it is completely heating from within the mug. All right, I've just run into this while the mug is heating up. The battery has been depleted, but it doesn't really make that too obvious. There's a red blinking LED that does appear but other than that the display is blinking as it was previously. The only way that I really notice that my mug is dead is that I'll go and try to take a sip of my beverage and it will be lukewarm already. And by the time I go and put it back on the coaster, instead of returning to the heating cycle that it was in previously, all it will do is charge the mug. So then you have to go pick it up, go and try to adjust the controls to put it back on your target temperature, and then go and put it back on the coaster, which is an inconvenient experience overall. And at about the 25 minute mark, we have reached 107 degrees. It has definitely done a great job of heating up my beverage. But with that said, I'd say that the bottom line for this mug is value. Other competitors that I've seen, even on Amazon, offer products like this at at least $100. This is by far the cheapest self-eating mug that I've found on the internet, and I'd say that that is an incredibly competitive selling proposition. The battery is a bit on the short side, and the design isn't as premium as I would have liked to have seen, but all things considered, I would say that this does its job incredibly well. It works as as advertised. I will update you in the comment section below if anything changes. Also, if you guys own this mug and have any experiences you'd like to share, please feel free to do that in the comment section below. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.